Okay, let's do another video on data visualization for categorical data. This time, let's do uh, bar charts. So I've still got this World War II uh, data set that we've been working with. Let's go to graphs. And this time, let's do bar charts. So we can pick our type, or anyways, this is literally the type of airplane. And we can go to option, and we can decide, do we want to do frequency counts? Do we want to do them for the default? Uh, color selection or we can do our alternate color palette if you want um, we'll just leave it at the default colors and the graph title we're going to name this types of plane from example and then click OK and voila we have our frequency and we see how many bombers how many fighters and how many transports okay so pretty pretty simple there's nothing much going on here if you want to change your colors uh, you can uh, maybe not well let's give it a shot I think you can do comma we can do color equals let's do something loud let's do red and I think that'll work let's highlight that click submit and BAM we now have red bars so if you want to play around with the color that's an easy way that you can do it. You just add in that col equals and then whatever color you want it to be. Now let's say that we're working with a different data set. Let's go back to that cars data set. So I'm just going to import it. My Excel file. We're going to call this one cars. Okay. Let's do our car data set. And let's go to graphs. We're going to do bar graph again. Now we have this extra option. So remember this chart was like talking about the color of the card. Okay. And then your gender. So let's do color and let's just do a regular bar chart to begin with. We'll do color of car for the graph title. Click OK. And we have these different colors. Okay. Black, blue, red, silver, white. Now let's say if I ask this question, okay, I want to know if men and women have different preferences in their colors of cars. All right, well, let's take a look at that. We can do that really quickly. It's like one more button click. Let's go down to bar graph. Same thing, but this time we're going to plot by groups. And now let's say sex. And we can click OK. And let's click OK again. And hey, look at this. It has stacked these bars on top of each other. Now we know that, okay, this kind of greenish blue are the men, this pink are the women. And it says, hey, it looks like that blue women are, you know, pick this more often than men. But the silver, the men pick more often than the women. Kind of interesting. We can see some more relationships here. There's another way that we can look at these bar graphs. Instead of stacking them, we can do them side by side. So let's do graphs, bar graph. Uh, let's go to options and this time instead of stack let's do side by side or parallel and let's click OK and here we go now it's instead of stacking them on top of each other we're looking at them side by side to see their uh, their preferences another way to just display the same type of information All right, now let's do it backwards so instead of having the main variable down here be color let's have the main variable be women and then or men and women and then have the sub variable be sex or um, color so let's do that oops I need that here we go so let's go to graphs bar graph so this time we want to plot by sex or sex and we want to plot by color and let's click OK let's do stacked because I like how it looks I want to click OK and hey, check this out. So now it's got the men and the women in these two different columns and we've got the colors. Now we can directly compare the colors across. Now as I was saying, these colors, they don't match up correctly and we could go through and work on changing those colors to get them to be the right colors. Um, maybe I'll show you how we could do that. So what we can do, let's give ourselves an extra space. Let's do my color again equals and we'll do red, blue, black, white. And now silver is not native to R, so we can do, we can cheat and we can do gray. Okay, and then instead of using for the color, let me see where it is. Uh, okay, it looks like it doesn't have it specifically in there so we can add it just like we did before 
we can do comma color equals and let's do my color okay so we can highlight this uh, we also need to include the my color code and let's hit submit okay now we have a problem all of our colors except blue is wrong so blue we picked in the right spot but the other ones were wrong now if we wanted to do this we could go back through okay so where we have red actually needs to be black and where we have black needs to be red so we can do that real quick let me do this black and where we have black we need red and then where we have white we need gray and where we have gray we actually need white okay so let's highlight this again and now let's hit submit so we switch up to our colors and now it actually looks right so you kind of have to play with the orders but you can get those colors actually making sense and we can compare them across all right let's do one more thing before we are done let's go to graphs give it a second and let's go down to bar graph this time we're going to go options and we're going to do side by side on this one click OK and ooh, our colors are off again let's go use my color again so let's do right here comma color equals my color we already got the order right so let's give it a shot submit oh dear give me a second we're gonna to have to bring that my color down Control c v paste it right above the code that we're working with and let's submit that hmm. it's not liking it right now let's see if i can't get it again okay and let's go ahead and oh maybe it just needs to be col and we've got my color my color let's try to submit that ah there we go okay so now we've got the colors and we've got them side by side i think when you've got a lot of groups i kind of like stacking them uh, but this is another option so this is how we can do our bar charts how we can adjust the colors and how we can do different groups side by side to compare um, different breakdowns of the categories. Anyways, hope that helps out.